Dakota Dan here. Welcome to beautiful Cha'am, Thailand. Uh, today I'll kind of give you a run through of, uh, I have an Africa twin here. You can see it in the background. You can see Cha'am. I actually went out to this pier because I've tried to take this video three or four times on the most abandoned beaches I could find and every time a uh, curious uh, Thai would come over and ask me what my bike was. So there's a lot of interest over here in the motorcycle and for good reason, it's a great bike. Uh, I have bikes in America, China, and over here in Thailand, I have this Africa Twin. And next November, I'll be moving here permanently. So I'm really looking forward to riding and getting up with some uh, fellow riders over here and enjoying Thailand a little bit more than I've been able to in the past. Anyway, let's go over some of the things that I've done with my bikes and uh, we'll talk about it and some of the things I like and some things I don't like. All right, we can start from the front of the bike. One of the things I hate are these damn stock tires. Uh, I have Midas 07s coming in, but they uh, we had a miscommunication with my tire dealer and we got the wrong tires. So the next time I'm back in town, uh, I'll change those and get rid of these uh, death traps. You know, uh, the first week I had this, uh, I went out in the mud and uh, you know, ass over tit on these things, uh, you know, uh, like Harley and Indian, they'll they'll give you uh, that pipes that you have to change out, but man, you just sound like a pussy till you change those out. These are damn dangerous. There's no way Honda should have put these on. Even for commuters, I don't like it. Uh, I put a MRA windscreen on it. Really like that. It's, I'm a tall guy, and this takes all the uh, wind off me. Uh, I just finished a thousand kilometer two day ride yesterday, and. Uh, it went real well for me. Very glad I put that mod on there. I've also put uh, one of my favorite uh, mods, the Bark Busters, a good Aussie product. Strongly recommend those for anybody uh, that wants to ride the Honda. The Honda ones obviously aren't very good. Come around to the other side. I've also got the Kato uh, Throttle Lock, another good Aussie product. Excellent. Uh, when you're on the road, if you want to mess with your gloves and that, when you ride in Thailand, you can't really use a regular cruise control anyway because of the way they drive here. But for if you need to uh, get your hand off the throttle for a bit, that really helps. I've got the standard uh, ram mount uh, uh, fold down mirrors. I forget the manufacturer. It's the one that everybody uses. I really like them. Uh, it's been a great mirror. Works a lot better than the stock ones for me, again, because I'm a little taller. I put the Tourer Tech uh, locking mount for my uh, Garmin Zumo on. I did that because and, uh, I like to have it locked. But uh, I wanted to mount it up on the front, but I had one look at this and realized this would break off. But now uh, a company called Camelback, I believe, out of Canada, they make uh, a mount that goes on there. And as soon as I get that in, I'll put that on as well. That'll help a lot. Down the bottom, I've got uh, pivot pegs, absolutely love them. I always put them on every uh, bike I have. Uh, couldn't recommend those enough. Another good Aussie product. Got the Alt Rider brake extender, love that. Really helps when you're standing up and riding. Now some of the things I don't like. Uh, for one is these crash bars. These are T-Rex crash bars. And uh, what T-Rex is noted for is for their uh, skid plates. That's about all this thing's good for. Uh, I, I wanted to get the Alt Rider ones and I will put those on, but they weren't available when I was in the States last. So I ended up buying these uh, cheaper Charlie ones out of uh, Thai, Taiwan. I don't like them. You can't even put a skid plate down there because the damn thing has a bar in front of it. And that will, you know, that, that'll obstruct it. So the first log you hit, you get hung up on it. Real bad design. It'd be fine for commuting, but not much else. I have the Honda uh, panniers on my bike. The only reason I have them is my wife got them to throw it in for free when I bought my bike here in Thailand. Otherwise, I'd have never put those on. They're not very sturdy. Certainly wouldn't take them off-road. So what I'll do is I'll take these off and put uh, soft bags when it's time uh, to go on uh, an adventure trip. But for just running around town and things, they're fine. But other than that, they're pretty well worthless. I put a SW Motec extender on. That's because I have size 15 boots, so I need uh, I need to extend that. That that really helps me a lot anyway. Along with uh, 
the SW Motec uh, center stand. Works very well. Uh, last thing I put on was rigid spotlights. I uh, got turned on to these by Leo Steiner. Uh, if you haven't seen him on his YouTube channel, he's great, excellent rider, and also has some great tips. Strongly recommend seeing him. Well, that's about all I got. And, uh, you know, a great bike. Can't say how much I love this bike. It's fantastic. Looking forward to moving here in November permanently and then ride the shit out of it. Take care, guys.